Have you ever... Oh, my shoelace is untied. Well, I'm not really motivated to tie it now since I'm supposed to be presenting. But have you ever struggled to find the motivation to perform a certain task? If your answer is yes, then same. And not to worry, as although motivation seems as something easily obtained, it remains one of the largest mysteries of the human mind. Arguably, you could state that motivation is a form of emotional drive within a person, which brings their dreams and desires to reality. Moreover, motivation serves as a sort of inspirational fuel to your mind. It gives you a figurative flight path to achieve your goals. It could even be considered a survival skill. Therefore, if motivation is so essential in allowing us to grow and attain certain ambitions, then why do so many people lack it? Motivation can be defined as the process that initiates, guides, and maintains goal-oriented behaviors. It is what causes you to act, whether it is getting a glass of water to reduce thirst or reading a book to gain knowledge, even if Netflix may be more alluring at times. Without motivation, life would progress without improvement or personal growth, and you'd genuinely live without a purpose. Not to mention that motivation can also mainly be affected by the atmosphere surrounding a certain individual. And this tends to be why a person's workplace can affect determination and mental health so exponentially. In fact, did you know that after the pandemic, 42% of adult US citizens under the ages of 50 reported to have extreme struggles in going to work? And that 53% of people from the ages 18 to 29 expressed challenges showing up to work and carried out a pessimistic attitude throughout their workplace and towards their coworkers. Could some of you relate to this during the pandemic, for instance? Showing little drive can negatively impact someone's quality of life. It can worsen mental health and eventually become the roots of larger, more problematic physiological complications. Fortunately, personal motivation is ever-changing, meaning that if you work on having a very strong personal motivational drive, you can better not only your own quality of life, but even improve the world. Yes, you heard me right. You can even improve the world. If you don't believe me, look at a few examples of inspirational figures who strove to revolutionize history in the face of extreme injustices using their personal drive and motivation. Some people were raised in a world where their kind was considered inferior, whether it were in an intellectual aspect or a physical one. Some people were put in situations where their circumstances were out of their control. I had no idea that history was being made. I was just tired of giving up. Does anybody recognize who this phrase comes from? Well, of course you do. It was said by Rosa Parks a very famous civil rights activist who refused to give up her seats on the bus to a white man and was subsequently incarcerated. She deeply impacted the civil rights movement led by Martin Luther King and changed the course of history. But what you might not know is that Rosa Parks wasn't the only inspirational individual who strove to revolutionize history. Take Viktor Frankl, for instance. Viktor Emil Frankl was an Austrian psychiatrist born the 26th of March, 1905, and died the 2nd of September, 1997. He founded Logotherapy, which is part of existential and humanistic psychology theories. Frankl believed that humans are motivated by something called a will to meaning, which is the desire to find meaning in life. He argued that life can have meaning even in the most miserable of circumstances, and that the motivation for living comes from finding that meaning. He also believed that through a search for meaning in life, individuals can endure and overcome suffering. Thanks to these different philosophies, Viktor Frankl managed to overcome one of the history's most daunting events, the Holocaust. During this era, Viktor survived and was taken to four different concentration camps. Here, he surpassed the deaths of his wife, father, and mother. Such awful experiences are extremely challenging to get past, not just physically, but psychologically as well. But because of his thought process and determination, he managed to endure 
the unimaginable suffering behind what he and many others had to deal with. In spite of all the physical and mental primitiveness of the life in a concentration camp, it was possible for spiritual life to deepen, was one of Victor's prime beliefs. He did his best to remain positive. He did his best to have hope, and that very hope is what made it possible for him to survive. So he pursued this mindset for three years, and once he was freed, he went on to publish a fantastic novel enlightening his experience in these concentration camps, Man's Search for Meaning. This book provides an explanation about life in a Nazi concentration camp. It emphasizes love, hope, responsibility, inner freedom, and the beauty of nature and art as ways to endure and overcome hardships. Wish it, dream it, do it. The only way to succeed is not to quit, so fight for what you desire. As these previous inspirational individuals have proven, personal motivation can be selfless. So if you're struggling to stay motivated for yourself, stay motivated for others. And now, I'm going to tie my shoelace. Thank <laughs> you.